is Cornisha Green, your head Black woman CEO here of the Black Women CEO Circle. And I am so excited to come to you for this quick video on what you need to get known. So recently, I did a Facebook group post in our group asking people what did they need right now? What was one of their number one challenges? And many of you said that you needed to get known. You didn't know how to get known, to get out there and share your expertise. And I'm just trying to make sure that the audio is working in the group. And I wanted to come and actually share what it is you need right now to get known for your gifts. Okay, just want to make let me just check the audio really fast because something is frozen over here, and I want to make sure you all can hear me. On what? Okay, so we are working. I don't know what's going on with Be Live, but we'll just leave that alone. So what you need to get known for your gifts. Um, so some of you may have seen the recent LinkedIn article that I wrote, but this is what I shared. So if you want to get known for your gifts, here's what you need to do. One, I want you to answer this question, right? So are you willing to advocate for yourself as much as you've been willing to advocate for people causes or even your kids, right? Are you ready to stand for you as much as you've been ready to stand for other people, causes and circumstances in your life? Okay, so really think about that. And this question is so pivotal. I just spent a half a day in an awesome session with Dr. Monica Ogando. And we were doing my own business plan in a breakthrough session. So I practice what I preach, right? Really getting a coach. She's coaching me in different capacities. She's an 8500 winner. And today we were talking about what does it really mean to honor your calling, right? That it is a sacred um, activity to really walk in our calling. And that when we make sacrifices even for it, those sacrifices, when you look at the word sacrifice, it's really about sacred, right? That sacredness. And um, Fais, I think she said, was movement, right? It's a sacred movement that you're doing towards your purpose, right? And it almost becomes a devotion that you have to your higher power, to God, when you start to move in your purpose. And so, yes, we have to honor our calling, but we also have to honor ourselves as the vehicle, right? The means that we use to get to that calling. So when we think about honoring ourselves, I want you to think about, do you honor yourself as much as you do everyone else in your life, right? And often we'll tell people, you know, we know what matters to you by what, what you spend your time on and what you spend your money on, right? So ask yourself, have you really been showing up for yourself? Have you been mattering to yourself? So that's really the core of that question, right? Are you willing to advocate and honor for yourself and honor yourself as much as you've been, you know, half of your church, right? That you have for your job, that you've had for your kids, and even social justice causes that you might be showing up for. And this is a crucial mindset that you have to develop to generate consistent business revenue, right? And so are you asking yourself, or the mindset I'm telling you to take on, right? And the one that I advocate that my clients take on is this mindset of that I'm willing to promote myself. Because right? if I'm the vehicle for this calling, right, in honor, then I have to get out there, right? I have to promote myself and actually show people how I can help you. So when you think about that sentence, I'm willing to promote myself, are you willing to do that? Right? Are you willing to do these videos like this? Are you willing to share the solution that you have to someone else's problem? And hey, those who are jumping in, Angela said, she said, I'm moving in direction, ensuring I practice what I profess. Yes. And for many of us, I'm glad you said that. She said, mindset brings movement. It sure does. Because for many of us, it is a matter of walking our talk, right, and promoting ourselves. If you're telling other people that they need to show up for their lives, they need to whether it's taking care of their kids or being an awesome photographer, but you're not showing up for yourself and your business, how can you help somebody else do that, 
right? Even if they're not, even if you're not a business coach, how are you helping other people to solve their problems, right? If you're not showing up and we're cheating them by not showing them that the solution that you have that can help them to go from A to B, right? Whatever that transformation is that you're helping to facilitate for them. And here is why this is particularly difficult for us as black women. We've been taught, we've been socialized that if we put our heads down and just do the work, that they would reward us, right? And we know who they is, right? The person that we have to work twice as hard for, right? But let's be real. Most of us is working. Most of us are working twice as hard just to get the same as that next person. And who does that next person tend to be? A white male, right? That's what we're trying to get the same as the, the average person in the workplace. But how has that been working out for you? Really is that how has that been working out for you? That strategy of putting your head down, staying silent, um, you know, not making a fuss because you're grateful for this job that you have, right? Or what was given to you, right? You feel lucky, so you're not going to rock the boat. How has that been working out for you? Especially not only in your job, because the research shows that many of us are highly qualified and highly potential, but we're being overlooked for promotion. But how has that been working out in your business? Right. You, some of you are secret entrepreneurs. You're writing books. You're creating programs. You're you know, writing these manifestos and how you can solve the problem. But you haven't gotten out there with the solution. And you're wondering, like, why are you not getting clients? Well, you haven't shared it. <laughs> right. You haven't shared it. Or you may be out there sharing it, but it could be actually your marketing, the way you're marketing that's getting in the way and not really resonating and connecting with those that you want to support. So if you're not getting out there, that is the root, right? And then when you do get out there, it really has to be done in a way that attracts high value clients that are ready to pay for your services. Because here's the truth, meritocracy alone does not work in the real world. Right, that's actually not how you go about getting promoted that work often. And it surely doesn't work in entrepreneurship. And so of course I want you to do quality work. That's not what I'm saying. But you also have to be your biggest cheerleader, right? And your biggest advocate. And you gotta let go of this worry that many of us have of like, I don't wanna be seen as tooting my own horn. I don't wanna be seen as arrogant. I don't wanna be seen as bragging or braggadocious. Because there are more important considerations at stake here. Right. A lot of those things about tuning our horn and being arrogant is our own ego. And you got to think about the more important thing, which is yeah. your purpose. Right. You have a purpose to fulfill. You have a calling on your life that is beyond you. You have lives to transform. Even if you work with other businesses or organizations, those are still a means of impacting people. Right. Impacting how workers show up in the workplace. Right. Or how managers interact with the people that they lead, right? You have lives to transform. And if you think about your big vision, that vision that you have, that vision is about changing the world in some capacity. I just did a visioning exercise with our clients in the proper school, and they talk about saving humanity through change in education. They talked about helping women to get connected with their inner selves so that they could fulfill their God purpose, right? They talked about helping parents heal um, childhood trauma so that they could be better parents and impact generations to come, right? Like so imagine if they don't show up. The Many of you have a vision that, that will help you to impact like the world. And Angela said, was just telling hubby that it's about visibility like it's as well. Yes, yeah. it's visibility. And I think about that appearing arrogant, right, Angela? It's, and you do, you have to move, we have to move past our own stuff and then start to act in service of our calling in our lives. And it's like the thing about being rejected, right? Some of you also are afraid of not showing up because you might be rejected. And here's the thing about that. You also have to reframe your mindset around that too, right? And, and that's when you get into like the, the, some of the uh, psychologies of being a salesperson, right? Some of us don't see ourselves in sales. You're actually like, I hate sales. Sales is sleazy. But what are you doing as a business owner, right? As a CEO, you're actually the number one salesperson for your company as a CEO, right? And if you have a company of many and someone else is doing sales, you still gotta train them on how to actually sell the product, <laughs> how to get it out there. And here's the thing about sales that you'll learn about rejection. One, 
you are not for everybody. Your business is not for everybody. Your solution is not for everybody. Right? So that's one frame of mind you have to take on. So therefore, when you get a no, if someone says, no, I don't want that offer, that's them actually making it very clear that, oh, this is not for you. Right? They're realizing it and you're realizing it. And then the second thing, right? So not only is it a no could be a clear sign that, you know, the prospect is not your soulmate client. It could also, a no can also mean just a not right now. So maybe they are your ideal client or your soulmate client, but maybe the circumstances just aren't right for them to take on your offer. So as you can see, when you're going to know, it's really not even about you. They're not rejecting you. It's not a personal affront. They're not saying you're not valuable or what you have isn't valuable. It's about them. Right? Either they're saying, oh, well, this is not for me because I don't resonate with this. <laughs> right? And it's not, once again, it's not about the quality. They can just realize like, oh, I'm not someone who can work with her or in that capacity or that product is not for me. Or it's just like, oh, I would love to do that. But right now it's not the right circumstance. And there's a whole bunch of objections that can come up when of promise and when this is not the sales training but when we so that's a no so some of you who are thinking about that mindset but i want you to know this your purpose is not concerned with your ego your fears and your insecurities okay so in order to transform people's lives with your genius with these gifts and these talents that you have they have to know that you exist right as angela just said it is about visibility so it is about visibility. Is okay, so be willing to promote yourself, right? Go ahead and give the value, show up, and most importantly, show out. Show out this genius. And because I know this is so important, because I know that you all are desiring this, and I know that this is the main thing that many of you are missing, I created something just for you, right? To help you elevate your visibility and your value. And I created this resource to teach you precisely, precisely what you need to know to get known, right? And then actually to generate clients. And so I put this all in a three-day live training called the Get Known Business Bootcamp so that I could help you make it happen and get on path to a profitable business, right? We're entering fourth quarter. If you've been doing the same old, same old tactics and, and getting those lackluster results, you have to consider changing what you're doing, right? So in the Get Known Bootcamp, I want you to join me for three days and over six hours of live training. That will help you elevate your business in about 30 days. But you got to implement to get the results, right? So over the three days, we're going to talk about how to clean your expertise, particularly how to get rid of that imposter syndrome and that I'm not good enough mentality once and for all. So I'm going to help you debunk those myths about promoting your expertise so that you can increase your value. The second, on day two, I'm going to talk about how you attract a soulmate client and how you gain the attention of high-value clients who are ready to invest in themselves. Like I said, there exist people willing and ready to pay you top dollar for the solutions you provide, but you may be repelling them through how you're showing up for those of you who are showing up in the market, right? And if you're not showing up at all, I'm going to show you the best method for doing so. Right. So, yeah, you got to be willing to promote yourself, but there's a way to go about doing it for to attract high value clients. Right. And then on day three, we're going to talk about getting paid. Right. For this gift from your genius. So how to enroll clients and how to close the deal. Right. So if you're ready to stop, say, offering those free pick your brain coaching sessions, hoping that someone actually buys from you. This is going to show you a different way of going about that. Right. And so because successful entrepreneurs rarely do that. They, re they really offer free coaching. Right. There's a strategic way to actually invite someone to explore working with you. Right. And then what do you say to that? You actually get the client. Right. That they say yes. And you get paid for it. Right. So there's a way to do that. So I'm covering that in this three day boot camp and this get known boot camp. If you're interested in enrolling, we're currently having our early bird registration. And so you can go to KwaniciaSmith.com backslash bootcamp. And the link is in this video right here in the description so that you can join us and get this information you need to increase your visibility and value. Right. I know that there may be some mindset challenges that you're having. Right. And sometimes we don't show up because of those mindset challenges. But that is exactly why you should show up and get the support that you need.
right? So if you fear being rejected, if you're afraid of getting out there, if you don't think you're an expert, if you don't think you have anyone will pay you for it, you actually should find out how you should get paid for it, how you can work through these mindsets, right? Invest in yourself to knowing how you can actually start to reframe this rejection that you're having because you want to show up for that calling. Right, some of you don't invest because you're like, Oh, well, who am I? Does anyone really know what I want? And because you want to know if somebody uh, how to talk to people so that they know what you want, that's why you should be investing in yourself to get what you need to work through these blocks that you're having to getting paid for your story and expertise. Right, I get paid for my gifts. And you know other people who get paid for their gifts and the talents and their genius. So we know it happens, and it can happen for you too. So if you haven't figured it out from now, or you've been trying to put a strategy together for free webinars or free books and it hasn't been working, well, that's why you should invest in a process that tells you how to do it. And that's what I'm going to do over these three days in the Get Known Boot Camp. And I'm going to answer your questions. I actually send you a survey <laughs> before the boot camp starts. So I can make sure I answer your questions. Okay, so if you're ready to have a profitable fourth quarter 2017, if you're ready to really honor your calling and start to get out there and share that genius, those talents, and those gifts that you've been uniquely created to have, this is the program for you. Okay, so go ahead, go over to KarnishaSmith.com, backslash boot camp. And if you have questions, if you're like, Karnisha, I'm not sure, or, you know, it's a yes, but I, I need to ask you some things, right? Or I saw the website and I still have some questions, just send me a message. Just send me a message. And I'm happy to answer any questions you have about the boot camp. Okay, so I just want to jump on really fast. I see some folks are jumping on. Hey, but I'm actually going to jump off. So I wanted to share what you needed to actually start to get known. And once again, that's the mindset one that you got to be willing to promote yourself. You have to be willing to get out there. And then two, when you're ready to get out there, there's a certain way you have to go about promoting and inviting people to explore um, the solution to the problem that they have. So that you attract high value clients, people who are ready and willing to pay for the solution, right? And your genius that you have that can help them get to where they want to be, right? And then you got to know how to sell. <laughs> you got to know how to actually invite people to have a conversation, to explore the opportunity, and then what to say to them so that they actually give you the credit card and say, hey, let's get started, right? And that's all that we're going to cover in the boot camp. All right, so if you're ready to get started, click the link above. Or if you have questions, feel free to put it below in this video or send me a private message. Just click on my name, hit send message, and I'm happy to answer that for you, okay? So I will see you all soon. Bye.